Hey guys, Mike here. I traded okay today. I will show you my first three trades. Uh, they were all right. No big follow through moves and got stopped out right before some bigger moves happened. But it is what it is. So we'll start with my group or my trade on C here, which was a good trade. I made a, I made a little bit of a mistake in share size, but so it's a five minute opening range. Right on the open, oh, that's huge. Right on the open, we got flushed out pretty much. Showed weakness. And then we held this 7110 level for a bit after we <clears throat> had tested the nine moving average, couldn't break above, came back to the 10, hovered for a bit, and I took it short on the nine. Uh, a test again of the nine for a opening range breakdown, which we didn't really have much in the way of it, moving average wise. So I took my first partial at one to one, two to one, and then we were maybe five cents away from my three to one, which I never got to. But the mistake I made here is I should have definitely made it to three to one because my stop was up here at the 72 level, which was a pretty important daily level, but it's it was just way too far away. And I could have taken uh, more shares with a tighter stop, probably around Looking back at it, 71.75 being my stop the previous day close, which coincided with the 20 moving average and VWAP. So I could have traded this one better, but it is what it is. Uh, I shouldn't have had such a tight stop, but you learn. I'll journal it and hopefully not make the mistake next time. And then we felt we came crashing down, a little bit of a pullback here, and I added once this candle showed up red, I added in my trade thinking we're gonna uh, you know, move back down lower, past the lower day. My stop loss was uh, 71.90, or my break even was 71.90, or 70.93, I think at that point, and I got around right out of break even when it went against me. So that was my first trade, it was all right. It was uh, definitely, a, uh, I think I made 0.8 or 0.9 R on this trade. Which could have been better if I took better share sizing. Um, but I'm alright with the ad. I think that was a good ad. So next we traded SYMC. Which I got stopped out before a big move, but I'm really okay with it. So the way I trade wedges, so we define the level. We came back, we touched the level, and my stop is right under that candle. Because if I'm thinking about it, it's wedging up, it's breaking up, and it should really never even break below of that candle. So that's my stop. It stopped me out before I probably could have got two to one or maybe three to one on that trade with my partials and such. Which is unfortunate, but that's just how I trade wedges. I, It's my best risk to reward trade. Usually my winners are, you know, could be three, four, 5R and my losers are always less than 1R. I don't take a full R here. I go off about this level. This would have been like in my head my stop loss level. So that's where I determine how much risk I take. I take this much risk, but I stop out under the candle that's breaking the wedge if it falls below it, which it did here and then went in the opposite direction. Which that's just the way I trade it. It is what it is. It could have turned out all right if I violated my rules a little bit, but I don't want to do that. So then one more trade here, CRZO. So this was a good example of why I stick to that rule. Here is the same trade, same wedge, three touches. It was on the five minute as well. Touch the price, I took it again. My risk was based off of here dollar amount wise, but I wasn't going to let it go over here. So this is 1R up here, but I'm never going to lose more than 0.4R is what it looks like. It's just how I trade it. It's a good risk reward trade setup for me. And here it worked pretty well. Got one to one. And I did make another mistake on this trade. Uh, one to one was right here. And then we were like three cents from me getting two to one. And I really just I got greedy and I shouldn't have. I should have just taken the partial at the close, uh, previous day close 
as opposed to holding out for my two to one. And I paid for it, it came back against me. I didn't like these wicks right here. So I stopped myself out at about one to one. And then I tried to take it as a reversal, which the trade was good, but my risk should have been, I do this often on reversals where I'll say, okay, it's a higher low. And then I put my risk at the higher low. In reality, my risk stop loss should be the low of day, in my opinion. Because often on these reversals, it comes back and we have a wick and it'll stop me out. And I stopped out here a little premature because it broke this level, which I considered uh, like my new, my new stop loss. Original stop loss was here. This was the new one. It broke it. I got stopped out. And then I got back in a few minutes later when I saw it was holding it. New stop loss would have been right here, which again, I, I, sh I should really just follow the lower day. So we'll see how this plays out. Get rid of these. It's up, up, up. I get my one to one, and then this candle. This candle made me a little bit nervous. Let's get that out of there. So one to one, and then it comes down. And this is definitely where I could have traded better. So my stop is break even once I take a partial. And it touched one cent above my stop. Where this wick was, it touched the exact same spot. And I, in hindsight, I have no idea why I didn't set it the one tick lower than this, which is how I would normally set it based off how I, you know, make these trades. But I stopped myself out, which this was a definitely against my rules, against my strategies. I stopped myself out there, and it continued to move up, and it made two to one and eventually three to one I would have hit and then I'm not sure how far it goes on the day but yeah I would have hit three to one so that's unfortunate and all, all my trades were pretty good for the most part today but there's just little details I could have changed that could have you know eliminated these little silly losses and just put all the trades together for a good probably uh two, maybe three are winning day. Maybe a little bit more than that, actually, but I'll journal it, and hopefully I'll learn, and I'll be back again tomorrow. So I'll see you guys.